on Monday, a brazen murder on the streets of Midtown Manhattan had all the appearances of, professional, of a professional hit. Willie Rashbaum is on it from our Metro desk, is here to explain the police's approach to the investigation and one like this. Hey, Willie. Good morning. You were telling me this is, this is a very uh, unusual, uh, in the circumstances, 58th Street, just a few blocks uh, away, broad daylight. Why does it look like a pro professional hit? Well, the calm, deliberate manner in which the gunman and the getaway driver um, did, did what they did um, that afternoon is unusual in, in, uh, in a murder, yeah. especially a murder on a street. Um, the gunman walked up calmly behind uh, the victim, fired one shot, slowly walked away, climbed into the car, and the car slowly pulled into traffic and drove away. Right. Now, Ray Kelly, I guess, has said that they've tracked this down to Queens. The car was an Avis rental car. Uh, and now we've got investigators on both coasts trying to figure out uh, what's going on here. Well, the, the, there's a lot for the detectives to work with. They mm -hmm. have uh, uh, Mr. Woodard's phone. He actually had three phones. Um, and there's some indication that someone was contacting him as he was walking on the street, mm -hmm. possibly. Um, the driver of the car or someone connected to the killer. Right. So there are a lot of people for them to find, a lot of people for them to talk to um, in their sort of central effort of, of identifying who the gunman and who the driver are. Right. Now the victim, Brandon Lincoln Woodward, 31-year-old uh, party and club promoter, uh, and yet uh, he did have a record, correct? Uh, he had a number of arrests. He came from a, a well-to-do family in yeah. Los Angeles. He was in law school, but he'd obviously um, had a number of problems in his life, um, and uh, a lot of them ended up uh, um, landing him in the in the criminal justice system. Right. I think that uh, detectives are going to be focusing on his background as well as what they can glean from his phone, from his contacts, his email over the last few weeks. You know, one one central question would be: Did he come to New York specifically to meet with? Uh, whoever he was expecting mm. to meet with on 58th Street, or was he contacted after he got here, um, coming here for some other reason? I right. mean, those are among the, I think, the things that they're going to be looking closely at. What are uh, police officials telling you about this? I mean, obviously the, you know, the setting, the timing, and so forth. How unusual was this? Well, I mean, there, there's some central sort of contradictions to it. The 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 way that the shooting itself was carried out, as we we, we just discussed. Um, suggest that it was um, done by people who really knew what they were doing. Right. Um, on the other hand, the idea of shooting someone on a midtown street where on some, right. at some moments there are as many security cameras as there are witnesses, uh, and trying to get away in a car in midtown traffic two weeks before, before Christmas right. seems less than inspired. So um, it, there are some, some things that don't, don't appear to add up. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, I think they're working to, to try and, uh, um, you know, get to the bottom of that. Willie, thanks. Sure.